Hi there. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your or configure your event for the timing application if you have a timed event. So um, 48 hour, 24 hour, 6 hour, uh, last man standing, any kind of event where runners are doing loops coming through the finish line multiple times. Um, okay, so first you're going to navigate to timing and results and then click on get your code. It's the third link down. Choose the device that you're going to be timing with, the um, the operating system. So I'm going with Apple. Uh, and make sure you read through all of this information. It's helpful. If you haven't downloaded the application yet, you can do so here. Um, and then step four is get your code. So we open this page up. It says, are you planning to record participants in more than one location? And we're going to go, no, we just want to record at the finish line. and and then it asks what is the course lap length for the 48 hour in miles. So how long is each lap for the runner? So we're gonna say that uh, this person is running a uh, 5.2 mile lap. And then all you have to do is click generate code. Okay, so this is configured properly. Um, the finish line is 5.2 miles. And every time the runner comes through uh, the finish line, you're going to tap their bib and their time is going to be recorded for each lap um, until you've passed the 48 hour mark and at the 48 hour mark um, they're done. So uh, and, and they have technically like finished. Uh, so you just keep tapping their bib and recording them for every time they come through the finish line. Uh, your code is going to be over here. I've uh, been messing with this a little bit, so I've got some extra uh, data here, but you're going to want to look under the active just in case you have uh, maybe multiple locations. Um, but under the active column, you can see that this one is active. So this is going to be the code that you're going to key into the um, timing software. So MFCX. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.